Hello and welcome to a Raggies review. So today we're going to be talking about the North Wales trip. Sit back, grab a beer and uh, let's talk about it. So last Sunday, Sunday, we drove from Nottingham over to Rill, two and a half hours. Pretty decent actually, no issues whatsoever. Smooth transition onto the roads. Um, got all the way to Rill. Um, we were stopping in the stopping rather in the Travel Lodge Hotel. Dog and child friendly, so that was good. Uh, literally 20 yards away from the hotel, if, if it even was 20 yards, probably a bit more than 20 yards, 40 yards, uh, was of the car, car park was the uh, Marston's Sun Verge. So we had initially booked a table in there for four o'clock. We got there for 12, walked around and got to be honest, there wasn't a lot to do in Will. Um, went into the Sun Verge, had a carvery dinner. It was all right. It was, it, it, it was okay. Uh, you know, it, it's not top notch. Staff were great, you know, can't fault the staff at the Sun Verge, uh, running around like headless chickens, you know. I do feel sorry for anybody in social, in hospitality, you know, it's tough, it's tough on them. Um, no cask beer on the bar, what the fuck is that about? No cask beer, Marston's, how many fucking beers, breweries do you own? No cask on the bar. For God's sake, put bloody pins on the bar. No actual real ales. None. Not even on keg. What was on keg? Lagers. Guinness. Um, I actually had a bloody lager. I think I had a... a oh. Once a Peroni. Um, can't remember what I had. It was a lager. Whatever lager it was, it was a log. It was okay, you know. Um, it was a nice place, got to be honest. Decent place. Um, from there, we had a walk around Will. Not much doing, to be honest. Got to be honest, a bit run down. Seaside resort, lots of work going on. There's a sea aquarium that's closed. Obviously strengthening the sea defences. The work they're doing could make that an, an amazing town. Uh, the problem is that the, 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 that the seafront is very boring. Not much there. Uh, it feels run down. I don't know if it is, but it feels it. It feels grotty and run down. Um, sad to say for anybody who lives there or anybody who goes there, it just feels that. Didn't see the theme park that theme park worldwide went to. Uh, that didn't come up, so maybe that's further down the further down in real. Uh, we didn't see it. Um, on the Sunday, went over to Mold Ale House. So we went over to Mold. Um, Forty minute journey there. Uh, got to Mold. The beer lab is there. We didn't go in the beer lab. I wanted to, but uh, you know, we'd already had a pint in one pub uh, with a with a meal. So the pint with the meal would have deleted the pint anyway, and the time. But you know, literally could only have a pint. Well, it was actually four thirds, so a pint and a quarter. Um, <sighs> Mold Ale House, wow, what a place, fucking hell, Mold Ale House, ah, uh, great place there for um, forecast lines, cider lines on pool, um, keg lines, craft beer fridge, a brilliant host, a uh, small but fantastic micro pub uh, that gets through its beer. So that place must be absolutely rammed because they really do get through their beer. Uh, that and the beer lab literally being so uh, so close is amazing for the people of Mould. 
um, absolutely amazing, you know, can't fault it whatsoever. Because John uh, from the Bear Channel told me that uh, there is a bargain booze that do two for five on Hafford Brewing Beers. Didn't didn't get the bloody message, you know, because of not being in the right country. And uh, yeah, I'm sure my internet plays like a twat when I'm away. So yeah, then we got back to after that we left there, got back to the um, hotel, and literally, you know, we were sat in the bar and we thought the bar shit. Uh, so basically, we just went up to the room, drank some beers in the room because the price of the beers was. Um, I mean, again, we had another walk around Will and there was no there. So we went back. Did I know that the Taffern Fack, formerly the Dove, Cobb and Penn, was so close, walking distance? No, because we would have gone there and we would have spent the night in there. It is what it is, you know. You're on holiday. We don't know the place. Um, it's not all about the beer. So, Monday, um, we went to Prostatin, uh, went to Prostatin, basically, uh, we journeyed, we, we had a walk around Rill in the day, went to Morrison's Rill, good amount of beers, none on offer. Which is surprising because when I went to Corwin Bay, the fuckers were on offer, but a lot less beers. Um, so Monday we we did that till dinner. Then we because we couldn't get in till three or four o'clock anyway, and literally we went to Lidl. Nothing doing in Lidl. No Welsh beers. Uh, I did pick up a Brains Dark to be fair. Went to Tesco's in Prostatin. Um, Picked up a load more beer. They were all on offer, four for seven. Um, got all the shopping and that. Went over to the caravan, got in the caravan, and basically chilled for the afternoon. Then went to, um, I think everyone came to our caravan that night. We made a night in our caravan. Our caravan was the biggest again. We've done well with caravans, to be fair. We seem to be on a roll with caravans. We seem to have had the best caravan. The, not always the biggest, but certainly the nicest caravan so far. There's a chance luck will change. Uh, the lady did say to us when we got to Prostatin that uh, don't book your dog in. Because you pay more and you get a shite caravan. And it's like, oh. So you pay 60 quid to have a dog. And then the caravans are up, uh, nowhere near as good. You get basically getting the shittiest caravan. And uh, we got the caravan we booked. We didn't pay for a dog. We didn't have a dog then. Um, and we covered it with fleeces. Because obviously we treat everywhere as our house. So if it's our house, we cover it with fleeces. If dog was on the settee, she's clean. The dirt, any dirt will not get through. The smell of dog will not get through. Um, and that's the way we are. We're clean people. But the lady was telling us that people, their dog shit, leave dog shit underneath the beds. And it's like, you scruffy bastards. What fucking people do that? The caravan, our caravan, we've left it today in pristine condition. We've wiped everywhere, cleaned everywhere. It's absolutely pristine. Why would you not? You know, what would disrespect have you got? Don't fucking, if I go somewhere, I want that place to look as good as the, the moment I got there. Even better. In fact, um, Andy, the happy drinker, he actually fixed, fixed the plastic plinth that's round the door because it had come off and he actually fixed it back in being a, an Andy man builder he knew how to do it I didn't know how to do it to be honest but, uh, but I gave it two seconds and I thought this <laughs> put it back where it was but there you go 
So that was Monday. Um, trying to think of the days now. It's amazing how you, you forget the flipping days. Uh, on our trips, uh, yeah, Tuesday, yeah, I remember now. Tuesday we went, we drove down to um, Landudno. Fucking hell, what a place. Landudno is amazing. It was a good, the, 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 the North Wales Expressway is, is nice to drive on, to be fair. Drove down to Landudno, it was dead easy to get into. We went to a car park, a long stay car park, and this Welsh lady come up to us and says, uh, no, 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 don't park in there, park there. That's free parking, park there, you pay silly prices. I hate that they charge people for parking, and it's like, thank you, you know. And it was, you know, an act of kindness that uh, this is how local people are. When local people know the area, they'll tell you where you can, where you can't park, and most people would just accept the fact you've got to pay for a day. And we parked. Andy and Ange came round in their car. We got them to park on the other side. And we got free parking for the day. You know, that's brilliant. So that made a day. Um, while I was in Land no, the wife fell really ill. She got buscapan and that she was sick. But, yes, you know, we walked around. Shops in Land no, fantastic. Um... We went to Taps Micro Pub in Landudno. Yeah, fantastic pub. In cask, keg, two fantastic fridges. Titanic cherry pour. Amaretto infused cherry porter in the fridge. Great bloke on the bar. Great indoor seating, uh, front and back. Outdoor seating was amazing. We had the greatest week, really, uh, when it comes to the weather. I had half a brewing. I had what was the other one? I think it was actually Conway. Um, from there, did more shops. Walked around all the shopping centres. Uh, me and Andy went over to Wild Horse Brewing Co. Uh, went into there. They do a tap room Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We went in. <coughs> Oh, pardon me. Uh, I got every beer out of the fridge, all behind me on the beer wall. Uh, top shelf mostly, because they're, they're cans. Uh, uh, met a lady who works there from the Chan. How funny is that? That's amazing. Um, Newark Chan, obviously just across the corner. Uh, I work in Newark Chan, Newark. I work at um Callum House Hotel. So, you know, as a gardener. So, you know, it's it's great to see somebody from the local area. Um and she said to make it back, but we never made it back. You know, it, it is what it is, you know. You uh Thursday night. It, um from from there, had a great time at there. Went down to the beach, the beach was amazing, you know, small beach. But long all the way around really clean all the buildings painted it looked well the best beach albeit small the, the the bit that we went in the best looking beach i've ever seen in the uk amazing uh went in the me and the wife had to, she sat down so we sat with her andy and Ange went off and discovered the pair the pier a privately owned pier um, yeah, pier, yeah, yeah, that sort of pier, uh, but not that sort of pier, but yeah, privately owned pier. Um, my son had ice cream there, absolutely love Landudno or Clandudno, as apparently they call it. Uh, what's with the double L's? Uh, there's somewhere else with double F's, and it's like, how do you pronounce these fucking words? <laughs> um, you know, when it's foreign languages, you try and pronounce it, and I. I have no idea how you do this. Could have Googled it, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Forgot what I was saying there. Yeah, Land of No, absolutely amazing. Lots of really friendly people and some of the worst parkers in the world. This, we were sat outside Taps Micro Pub. 
and this woman, oh elderly woman, backed up in this car, and fucking hell, every single one of us was pissing ourselves. There's about twenty of us outside, and no, not twenty, uh, fifteen maybe, in total. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there was a load of us outside, and we watched this woman back up. She was so far off the flipping curb, and I walked up to see the sign because there were people with yellow tickets on the cars. And apparently it's a 90 minutes um, only. Um, well, obviously they'd have gone over the 90 minutes. Is what it is on that side of things, you know. That's what that's what time limits are for. Um, nice it was a Mercedes and a BMW that had been ticketed. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Um, oh, and I think she seen me look at the sign and thought I was looking at her car. Well, I was in some ways. And she drove off. But uh, yeah. Bloody hell, some of these people need to learn how to reverse. If, if you're too old to learn, don't be driving, you know. you know. Think about it in life. If you can't drive properly, then you really need to be, come away from the wheel. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. <laughs> um, from Landudno, we went over to Colwyn Bay. Parked at the Bayview Shopping Centre. Uh, the top layer, rammed to hell. Didn't realise it was free parking on the top. So we went down the bottom. Um, not allowed to walk dogs through the shopping centre, which is a bit of a shit, because I had to walk up the fucking grass and jump over the fence with a dog. But there you go, you know, things what it is. But it's a free hour, free hour for free. Um, so they went in the shopping centre. Uh, there was a Morrison's. Again, not the greatest range of beer in the Morrison's. N nothing compared to the real version. Uh, although they were on offer. The real version was not an offer. Bastards. Um, <clears throat> Home Balkans was crap. Just had Love Lane. Didn't go in the heaven uh, to see what they had. Um, walked up round the corner. Black Cloak Brewing. Over in Colwyn Bay area. I'll call it that because I don't know uh, the actual. If it was that. Went in there, what a place, absolutely amazing. Um, we had the greatest hour, hour and a half, about hour and a half in there to be fair. Um, cast lines, got got four cast lines, loads of keg, that 15 keg, um, a great craft beer fridge, the host was great, pristine, clean, uh, Beer was tasting absolutely amazing. Top class place to go. If you if you stop in there by, it's a whole night in there. Drink the menu, take some craft beer away with you, take some black cloak brewing on draft away with you, bingo and bottles, mind you. Um but yeah, you can't take away you can't take away like anything that's not theirs on draft or on keg. Because they get taxed on it and it's not worth them doing it. Which I understand because of the, of the rules these days. Um, but yeah, that was um, Black Cloak Brewing. Oh, what a place. So, uh, we got home after that. Had another night of games. Every night was a game night. You know, we were playing games or chatting or whatever. So, Wednesday, we decided to walk over to Prostatin. Fucking hell. We walk, we walk, we, <laughs> we're in Presthaven Park. We walked through the dunes. We, we, they seen a spot that we could up to the beach. And we thought, fuck it, I'll take that spot. And we're going up and down these fucking dunes. And I'm not joking. We were going for ages, you know, a good half an hour or so in the dunes. And we came out. Oh, there's a spot there to get out. Oh, we must be in the we must be in the next caravan park down. Must be fuck. We're still in the same caravan park. Um literally we'd walk for a, a good half an hour or so and we're in the same caravan park. We couldn't believe it. It's like you're joking. <laughs> anyway, we walked out of the caravan park at, at the entrance, which we could have done in literally five fucking minutes. Um <laughs> if we'd have carried on. And uh <clears throat> All of a sudden, there's a, there's a fucking walkway to the beach. And it's like, you absolute shite. Took the walkway to the beach. Walked along the beach. Lovely beach. Big beach, to be fair. But nothing on the beach. Prostatin. Why have you not got a proper seaside? Why? 
Why is there no seaside arcades and whatnot? There's nothing. There's a bloody hotel on the beach and that is it. There is no proper seaside at Pastatin. Everywhere we've gone around the country. Chapel, Ingermell, Skegness, Mablethorpe, Whitby and so on. They've all got beach and they've all got things on the beach. Nothing at Prestatton. God knows what's going off there. We've seen the former Ponting site. By gosh, that would make a fantastic asylum seeker site. Uh, or at least a site for Welsh people who are down on their luck to um, to stay in. Apparently it's going to be turned into another caravan park, but at least that's better than a big site doing nothing. You know, better to have caravans on there. Another haven site even would be better than what it is at the moment. And it would bring money to the area. Um, we walked around, we walked up hey, uh, Prestatin's Main Street. Lots and lots of businesses, lots of businesses. Sadly, no footfall. Literally zero footfall while we were there. Um, we walked down the other side, we went to a tea shop. There was a couple of bars that had been recommended to me by Mould Ale House. Neither of them were open. And to be honest, the one we looked at, uh, Arches, not that good anyway. Nothing compared to Mould Ale House. Um, we went into a place, uh, I had a pint of Guinness, the wife had a cup of coffee and a scone. And he had a scone and tea, so did Ange. But Neve, she had a tomato soup or something. And, and my son had a cola. Walks down into the retail park. The retail park's brimming. Absolutely full of people. So you've got a high street with literally zero. And I do mean nothing to get them onto the street. And the retail park that's brimming. So it's not the fact that there's nobody there. Nobody's go. Literally, the footfall to the shops is shit. Um, if I was somebody on Prestatin Council, I would need to address that. And you need to put a, a, a magnet into those locations to get people to walk through those shops and spend some fucking money in them shops. You know. Um... There was nothing in the the retail part that bothered me, you know. So we walked back and we walked through the golf course on the way back, much faster way. And then we did the evening thing um, with the apple drinkers. Which brings us on to Thursday. Thursday. Went to Chester. Um, I, I was open to go to Mould again, but um, I, you know, overruled. It is what it is. I'm only one person, you know. If other people decide it and there's a multiple people choosing that, then, you know, they wanted to go. Chester, absolutely amazing place. You know, when you look around Nottingham City Centre, you see gangs of youths, possibly asylum seekers. I don't know what they are. Hanging around the city centre, it's a shithole. It is, you know, it's a disgrace. Smoking drugs on the street, you know, it gives the worst impression of a city centre that you could dream of. Yep. Uh, and that's only to, the, you know, you've got to look at the weak government of this country uh, that have let it go to that stage. Governments, you know, different governments that have let it get to that stage. You know, turn around and say, and, you know, s stop being woke. Turn around and say, we are not the dumping ground of Europe. We don't want everybody here to come here, sponge the benefits. No. But they won't do it, will they? So, you know, it is what it is. Um, and these days, the police are powerless because... Uh, you know, whatever you do, you're wrong. I mean, you look at the recent thing in London with the bloke that got shot in the head, you know, because he was ramming cars with his car. 
Oh, he's fucking innocent. He's ramming cars with his car. Totally innocent. Big marches in London. And he thinks he's a fucking hell. Turns out he's a fucking drug dealer, criminal, who'd been involved in some big things. So, not quite the innocent person he should be. So, all these people that join them are all these sheep. Who join the march as they do because sheep join in, you know, to, to make a statement, and that turns out it's a big criminal anyway. But anyway, yeah, how many of them idiots feel ashamed of themselves that you know it's come out because it came out on the news? So they posted the police officer's name which was disgusting you know it should be anonymity until the fact is turned until he's actually it sh he, you know his name shouldn't be out there until he's until he's prosecuted then yeah deservedly so so his family has had to move and all that wrong absolutely wrong and this bloke is a bad guy anyway so but anyway, over to Chester. Chester, lovely place. The amount of shops, absolutely stunning. Pubs, shops, lovely environment, you know, no idiots. Fucking hell, they were singing on the street corner. And it was like they were opera singers singing. These two young, youngish lads in the 20s, their voices, and it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You could sit in front of them and just listen to them. I'm not joking. I mean, I'm not even that sort of person who listens to somebody singing. But I can appreciate good, you know, good uh, people. We went into the Chester Brewery Tap House, Tap Room. Uh, with no Chester Brewery beers on there. God knows what that was about. So they own the Tap House, but they don't have their own beer on. Uh, and unless Google's wrong, so I need to double check Google uh, before I post a review of it because uh, I might get mis I might get egg on my face. But I'm damn sure it said Chester Brewery Tap House Tap Room. Um, we then went across the river, went to Ches um, Chester Beer and Wine. Wow, what a place! You know, bloody hell, it was windy on that river. And why they ain't got an why they haven't got a, a water generator on that river to generate electricity is beyond me because that uh, bit of a waterfall that they've got could generate an absolutely amazing amount of electricity. Yeah, why are we not doing this in the UK? We are fools. You know, you could have a system, you could have a rake that goes in. Oh, it's raining. You could have a rake every now and again that goes in, pulls the shite to the side, pushes the rake back out, uh, or has it both sides, so, you know, gets the shit that comes through, or dead bodies, whatever, pushes to the side, and clean water goes through, to, generates electricity for the local area. We could do the same in Nottingham, but, uh, yeah, hey-ho. Um, and, yeah, we had a great time in Chester, lovely slightly upmarket uh venue a walled city very much like london there where my wife's from a walled city didn't get to walk around the wall we're only there for so many hours there's only so much you can do i literally went in one pub while i was there um and again you know you, if you're going to do the a pub crawl you need to go in multiple pubs. Great place for great beer. Great British pub call to go to, you know, because uh, there's a lot there. Yeah. He's the man. Yeah. I couldn't do his pub crawling. Okay, now. I couldn't afford it for one. And uh, not only could I not afford it, but, woof. Unless you get some beers for free, jobs are good. Um, so that was Wednesday. That was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So today we've come home and uh, it was a good trip. Um, Got to say, real, very run down. Prostatin, no beach whatsoever. Colwyn Bay, Land of No, amazing. Chester, amazing. Mould from what we've seen, amazing. Um, but 
bloody hell. What a fucking trek to get home. Um, what we've broken with the mo with the expressway short and then going on a, an absolute trawl round to get home. But we got home and, you know, got home safe. Back to Nottingham. Uh, went to some great pubs while there. Not many pubs. Didn't do many. Got a good beer. Oh, lots of Welsh beers come into the channel. Um, there were some breweries. Hafford. I wanted to do more from Hafford. That, that, this, that yellow one there. But, you know, we, I didn't get to the chance to be able to buy them. Um, got plenty of Bollies. Wild Horse. And loads of other Welsh breweries. So, I'm pleased because I managed to get a load in. Was it a good bit um, holiday? Yes, yeah. Uh, there's some amazing places in North Wales to go. Although if you come down away from Prostatin, that's where you hit the really nice area. Prostatin and Rill, they need to up their game. Uh, both areas run down. Not much there, scruffy. is what it is you know i can only see as i see uh i'd say the same about skegness you know it is a scruffy area uh but prostatin for a big air for a, what is a biggish city town city literally nothing on the beach i mean that is absolutely disgraceful the real at least has got a bit more on the beach although it looks like it's been all being redeveloped but fucking hell, they need to redevelop fast. They've got a fantastic beach. Develop it, you know. Uh, somebody in Welsh tourism is doing a shit job. Skegness is, a sh is an absolute shithole. But it, it's got a full beach of people. And in this weather we've had, it would have had a massive full beach. Will? No one. Begs the question, you know. Somebody's not doing their job. To promote that but we had a great time you know uh it's well worth a visit landudno colwyn bay especially yeah they oh get off that bloody a55 get on the coastal road yes you're going to drop down to 20 20 mile an hour what a fucking joke but anyway you'll drop down to 20 but you've taken the castles oh what a place uh, the Welsh people, everyone I came across was absolutely lovely. No issues with anybody from Wales. Lovely people, you know. I never felt out of place, not one iota, you know. It's all though, to be fair, everyone was speaking English. I never bought a few people. Uh, but the Welsh people with a clear accent were so friendly. Thank you. You know, made a great holiday. And that is my review. Um, not to, in, you know, there's no offence intended in any way, shape or form. It's just clearly what I see from just a normal person's perspective. Apart from that dickhead uh, in the caravan park at Prestavon. He owned their caravan. Yeah, little cunts. Uh, who were chucking the fucking bread on the floor to, to entice all the seagulls to their caravan what a bunch of wankers literally all fucking day doing this seagulls so blocking the road for people to drive by just being obnoxious twats yeah and for me yeah <laughs> if the wife hadn't to pack the bread away last night you'd have had bread all over your fucking roof your fucking veranda yeah and then you get woke up at six o'clock in the morning with fucking all crawling like yeah. 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 We was at Lanley Moor Lan We Moor 21. You was facing us. Dickheads. Anyway, cheers. <laughs>